Hey, God bless you guys. It's me, Crystal Lefford Jesus here, back with another video. So today we are watching Mary Schaefer Cirillo. I don't know if I said that right, but <laughs> she uh, had a rapture dream, you guys. He knocks, you will answer. That's what she's saying. Rapture dream. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into this and watch this and see what exactly the Lord has been showing us. We know what the Lord has been showing us. He's telling us that he's coming soon. He's telling us we're living in the end times. He's telling us it's the times of Noah. It is the times of the tribulation to be approaching, soon approaching. We see all this crazy stuff going on, wars and rumors of wars, you know, everything that was happening with Israel right now. It's crazy, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. So I have to come on here because I just feel it in my spirit to share. Um, I had another rapture dream um, the other night and me and Gavin were walking, and Gavin is my husband, me and Gavin were walking down this cobblestone like this like street, right? It didn't seem like a street that I had ever been at before, but I remember getting this sensation, this feeling that Jesus was coming, right? I closed my eyes and I saw a white trumpet. Um, I didn't know why the trumpet was white, but... I know that the Bible talks about the white remnant and it is a symbol of purity in being cleansed um, by the blood of the lamb. Now, whenever um, I closed my eyes and I opened it, I immediately knew that the rapture was about to take place. Now, I don't know if the trumpet it's gonna be an audible trumpet or because God says that my sheep hear my voice because he's not touching ground in the rapture we're meeting him in the air and what I saw was um like the as the people were going up I didn't see any um like the orbs that people were talking about as I saw them going up, I saw um, almost like a figure of their bodies. And there was thousands in the sky getting shot up. And the ground was shaking, right? I was shaking. My actual being was like, it was almost like the molecules in my body were vibrating. And the amount of joy that I had going up, and I'm like, this is it. It's happening. And it was such a um, warm hug. That's how I, I would explain it. The um, knowing that you're getting recreated into your incorruptible body uh, and you're going up to meet your savior is the most fulfilling, um, amazing experience. But as soon as I was going up, I was worried um, I was thinking about my husband, you know, because I didn't want him to get left behind. I wanted to know that he was with me and I, I didn't get to look back and see him. I, I was only going up, you know, I was extremely ecstatic, but I wanted to know that he was, he was coming too. Um, so when I woke up, I told him about it and I just, I wanted him to, you know, double check, triple check where he's at with the Lord, um, because that might have been a warning for him, you know, to not be on autopilot, um, through this life and to get your eyes on the Lord. And maybe this is a warning sign for, um, many of you that if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ and you're not getting into the word of God, maybe this is, um, a warning sign for you to get to know the Lord and know your Redeemer, know the the one that saved you was the atonement of your sins. Okay, He died for you, and He wants you to be with Him. He's your bridegroom, and you are His bride. There's a a covenant in that. Okay, and your 
you're special. You're, um, you're wanted, okay? You're worthy. And in Matthew chapter 22, verse 14, it says that many are called, but few are chosen. Now, the chosen one are his sheep. He says that he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. The goats are going to be on his left and the sheep are going to be on his right. And he wants to know who is on his side. Are you on the world side or are you on his side? Because he wants to give you everlasting life, but he can't force you to choose him. He's a gentleman and he loves you. So just remember what I said. How to be saved, okay? is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and acknowledging him, acknowledging his glory, acknowledging his mercy and grace for you, that he's giving you more than ample amount of time to get your life right with him. So if you would just pray with me, if you want to choose Jesus, okay, repeat after me, Lord. So really quick, I want to say to you guys that in Acts 2.38, because I think it's very important to also, uh, you know, for the scripture, it says that, you know, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you will be given the gift of the Holy Spirit because you need to be born again. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit in order to go in the rapture and to go with Jesus and to be saved. And you need to make sure that you b believe it in your heart. So once, if you decide to repeat after someone what she's about to say, you can't just say that you can't just say it with your mouth if you don't believe it in your heart. You cannot just say the words and then that's it. It's not a one-time prayer. It's not a one-time say this. It's like if you truly, truly have decided that you believe in Christ, you should pray this with her and you should confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you need to believe in your heart. Because if you don't believe in your heart and you just confess with your mouth, you're not born again. You're not, you're not really a believer, right? Because you don't really believe it in here because then you're not going to have the, you're not going to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit either. You know, you need to be baptized in Jesus name. So for Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know that I have chosen my own self selfish carn carnal ways and that I need to turn away from them. But the only way that I can do that is through you. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me and that you rose on the third day and that you are my savior. I ask you to come into my heart and to make my heart of stone turn into a new heart for you, Lord. Help me to live for you and baptize me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. And if you just prayed that prayer with me, welcome home. We love you. Thank you so much, sis, for that wonderful um, video and dream. Uh, Mary Schaefer Cirillo. I think it's how you say it. So thank you so much, sis, for that. And glory to God. I'm so glad that you were bold to come on and share your dreams as well. Glory to God, you guys. And um, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you're being encouraged. I hope you are staying on the right path. And if you made it to the end of this video, please leave below in the comments flags for Israel and prayer for Israel. And uh, I will see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.